In this video, I'm going to show you how to get Calendly API key. So let's say you want to uh, integrate Calendly to your website or to other platform. This API key will allow you to definitely do that. So all you just need to do is just log into your Calendly account. Then on the left side here, just put your cursor to that side. Then you're going to see all these features right here. So then scroll down to the integration and apps uh down below then click on that then it will take you straight down to this page here you can see integration and apps so just scroll down to where you see api and connectors you can see all these features right here so they are all integration that it uh that are available on uh, Calendly. Uh, there are sometimes, if of course you have actually click on that API, you might also see it right here. But if you haven't click on that before, you will definitely see it down here. So once you click on API and connectors, then you'll be able to see all these API and connectors right here. We have see Zapier API and uh, web hooks and also Power Automate. So just click on this API and web hook right here. Then you can see personal assets token and oh uh, authentication i think that's what it means i can see be the public application any calendly user can connect to so you can also see access calendly data for your organization private and internal application so all you just need to do is just look down below you can see generate uh, or regenerate key right here so if you have generated a key before and you don't know how you or where you place it you have to uh, try to generate a new uh, API key. You can see to support for uh, the support for V1 API will gradually be disconnect discontinued in the near future. Generating a new API V1 key will no longer be possible after a certain point. Learn about migrating to uh, V2 API. Yeah. So let's say you just, uh, this, uh, API V1 is actually still working. So you can also generate that. So once you have generated one before, you don't know how you misplace it or it's not working. Just click on regenerate key. Then you see this pop up right here. Your API key may be in use with more than one integration. You will want to update the key in each of these services so all you just need to do just click on regenerate right here then there will be a code that will be sent to your email i will receive an email right now which of course you can see so you hear that my phone actually sound somehow so i'm gonna input the code right here so i can be able to generate my api key so i'm gonna put in my the code i received then um okay so you can see it will verify automatically. Then you can see this is my own API. Key. You can see copy your token and use it to connect your application right away. You won't be able to access it again. That is exactly what's going on because once you generate this API key, you won't be able to see it again. So you have to copy uh, the API key, then go and paste it to where you actually need it. So this way you'll be able to copy your uh, currently API key and also generate one if needed. 